Hello, my lovely Starborns. Welcome to your new moon and cancer reading. What's interesting is a uh, new moon is coinciding with sidereal cancer season, the beginning of it, right? And uh, I don't know, the energy also seems to be brand new. It's, it's like, and soon uh, the notes are shifting too, right? Uh, when is it? Um, pretty soon, I guess, yeah. Yeah, so the lunar notes, I mean, south node and the north node, which is Rahu Ketu energy. So the notes are shifting into Virgo and Pisces axis. So, yeah. It's an end of a comic cycle. And a new one is starting. Many of you, it's been... <laughs> it's, it's almost like a wrap-up for the past 10 years, I'm hearing, all right? A decade. So, yeah, big energies, guys, big energies. Because yesterday I did this very quick reading, right? And almost all the aces came out. And uh, I was picking up on this you new know, beginning energy, like, really. And yes, it's very important that with this new moon, you put a lot of that to rest, okay? It's time to just focus on the good, guys. I cannot stress this enough, okay? It's very important that you be mindful of where you're letting your thoughts drift and all of that, right? It's very important because this is, I don't know, there is... The energy is very high. The manifestation powers are all time high right now. And it's going to be like that for a long time, I'm hearing. Especially because it's that new new energy that is rushing in directly from our spiritual sun that is serious, right? And the portal is on. We're heading towards the Lion's Gate and all of that. So it's like beautiful energy, highly spiritually charged and whatnot. So like, you know, I hope that this uh, Ardra moon, which was like right, right, like right two days before uh, this new moon, right? Ardra energy. So maybe the spirit was a bit emotionally charged for you and if you were like crying and stuff that's very good because uh you know it's time to let go it's time to purge it's time to clean up our act it's time to energetically wrap up the cycles you know okay <laughs> okay so let's see what spirit has for us and as always i've pre-shuffled the deck but i'm going to shuffle thrice on camera before i cut it all right we're going to pull out nine cuts for this new moon cycle yeah holy spirit what does one good to remember this new moon cycle yeah okay ready let's see <laughs> Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, hmm. King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot, my God, I love this energy, you guys, Two of Wands, all right, let me shift it, so this moon cycle is looking great guys it's really really looking great especially for your work and you know i mean i'm getting so many confirmations for all the readings that i have done lately all right and looks like many of you many of you you are 
very serious when it comes to your career, when it comes to your finances. And I also feel like many of you are kind of like, you know, very focused on the self, all right? It's like a, your, the energy is very self-serving and it's the kind of self-preservation that is very much needed in your case, okay? So there's a lot of self-love that you're coming into, all right? And that, that tells me a lot because I feel like you are you are weaving some magic here you guys all right you're following your voice the inner voice you're connecting with universal messages in ways you haven't before so i feel like many of you are seeing signs in very peculiar way you know the universe is speaking to you in in just really weird ways <laughs> but in a good way okay now what i'm seeing is the initial days of this new moon cycle there's again you are embarking upon some sort of endeavor some sort of uh, you're coming into this opportunity all right where you could also be somewhat of a student you know, where you have a lot to learn, maybe you're interning or there is this fresher outlook that you have and you are just budging into kind of just, you know, learn, learn the way of, way of the word, <laughs> learn the way of the word, okay, maybe, maybe many of you are doing that, so I'm picking up on this energy that if earlier you were like a bit like uh, awkward in public, if you're like self-conscious and all of that, right, that, that's, it's all dissipating, that energy is being taken out of your life, all right, whatever you're coming into, it is going to be life enhancing in a way that it is not only going to boost your confidence, but it is also going to put you in leadership positions, all right? So maybe it feels like maybe you you kind of don't know or maybe you don't believe that you can handle whatever this is you're coming into, okay? It's like you, you feel, it's like you have a knowing that yes, you can handle things, but you didn't imagine that you would come into this opportunity at this point in your life. So there's something about that. And what I'm being told is you're a natural born leader. So don't second guess this energy, all right? And for many of you, many of you are coming into some sort of connection where whoever this is, this person is going to teach you a lot, okay? And they're going to help you develop skills that are going to take you a long way, I'm hearing, okay? So pay attention to that. And there is this very generous energy around you during this moon cycle. Okay, there is a lot of, and it's the kind of generosity that is not just talked or, you know, felt. It's, it shows up in your physical too, all right? So you're getting some very tangible results during this moon cycle. So I'm also hearing if you guys were like dealing with some sort of problem, okay, which especially if it was taking you out of your confidence, if it was like making you feel insecure, and if there was a wave of paranoia, that you were being dragged into, all of that is getting off of your energy. It is just going to, I don't know, evaporate, you know, out of your mind, out of your sight, all of that, right? Because this solution, you're coming into some sort of solution. And I feel like it is more your own doing, even though you have all the help you need around you, okay? Because yes, many helpful energy around you a lot of people are supportive of you they're very i don't know it's very it's almost magical guys it's magical the kind of energy i'm seeing here and what's crazy is in my that quick reading that i did yesterday okay five code cards showed up and I'm, i think i mentioned especially five people you know and again i have five code cards here and only one major and what is that the chariot 
it's a victory. It's a show short victory. It's not just a victory. It is, and I mean, it is a victory, success, and all of that. But it is more about you have successfully put an end to an old cycle, and so many things from that cycle are never going to come back up, even for review and all that, because you did the work you understood the assignment okay and yes the victory is sure shot because what you see nine of cups surrounded by this chart card is surrounded by nine of cups queen of pentacles and nine of pentacles i mean the energy is beautiful and it is again i have this feeling that yes the many of you you are partnered but there are many of you who are not okay and both of you this cycle is going to be very very healing very very assuring i'm hearing it's going to assure you at certain levels that is very much required and you are very much in alignment with your higher self so don't ever second guess that as well as the universe has established some sort of um, medium with you okay to kind of deliver personal messages to you now this could be that this could be numbers that the universe is speaking to you through numbers it could be symbols it could be your own personal synchronicity i don't know there is something that something major is happening here that is very very liberating as well as it's a beautiful energy. It's like... It is taking you out of that paranoia, okay? It, no, you're not crazy. It's that sort of energy, okay? The universe is assuring you that... Yeah, I don't know. It's this almost supernatural natural element to it. So maybe, maybe many of you were dealing with uh, some sort of uh, mental torture I'm hearing, okay? That's going, that's gone, that's, I don't even have to say going, it's gone. Because you see, the only sword I have here is the king, the ultimate, the final, right? This king is the highest octave, if not the ace. I want to clarify and yes there, there's a message for uh... <laughs> okay so I cleared this deck you know I cleared this deck and I I don't like reversals I don't read reversals so I cleared it and I made sure that all the cards were upright but you see this one is reversed and it is a seven of swords and I was just going to talk about the twin flame dynamic because this is my twin flame card, two of wands. And look at the imagery here. It's a king and a queen. Queen looks happier. King seems to be, I don't know, being a weirdo. So, yeah. It's also like, because you guys have detached a little bit, all right? You, it's... So whatever you're dealing with emotionally, it could be connected to this journey. It could be connected to your love life and all that. But, you know, at this point, it's like, uh, it's it's not taking you out of your power anymore. Let's just say that, okay? You've learned to kind of like deal with these energies in a better way. You've tamed the beast, I'm hearing. And yes, like I say, many of you, you are on this twin journey. Something is coming to light around the full moon, I'm hearing. Something is coming in. Which is going to make your life easier. Because I feel like this journey has made you feel like... You're caught up on a hamster wheel, just going round and round and round and round. And get dizzy, don't you? <laughs> you 
Yeah, so it's like you don't have a choice but to put, put this aside. It's not a priority. Right now what I see is you are very focused on yourself. This is the energy of self-development. This is the energy of self-mastery. That's what you're coming into. That's what you're working on. That's where you're headed. All right? Spirit is with you in all of this. You have so much spiritual support. Yes. Because you see, I have all these round figures here. And yes, travel. There's definitely travel. And it doesn't have to be physical. But the plans that you're making during this time, it is definitely, you know, leading you wherever you go, wherever it is that you want to go to. So for many of you, yes, you are already traveling because I do have Six of Swords here too. And I have a chariot, which has a lot to do with journey and movement and all of that, even though chariot is kind of like stationary, right? In the right of weight, but this is not the right of weight. And uh, this guy has wings here. So this is telling me many of you, yeah, you guys are moving. There is some sort of travel. And for many of you, it's like this period, you're planning, you're planning, and you're making fixed plans which are going to take place, okay? And you're also manifesting a lot. And the many of you, it's very important that you stay. I don't know, you, you keep creating, okay? If you have creative outlets, yeah, you focus on that. It's a very, very good time for that. So a lot of learning during this period, a lot of learning, a lot of breaking patterns, going reaching out also reaching out to others for help and not holding back being vocal about what you need you're sh for sure you're going to find it you know whatever you need okay so let's clarify the holy spirit angels and yeah full circle guys i'm telling you the cycle is over yeah it's like your life is going to get very col colorful all right coming into a lot of joy a lot of joy and it's almost like you feel sort of reborn you know is this energy of coming back to life being wiser smarter and i don't know there's something very innocent about you in this period okay and uh, of course very wise very wise like <laughs> Any of you is a sort of energy where you know <laughs> look into uh I'm hearing look into natural alternatives to your beauty routines. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but yeah, that's coming up. So if you are investing in uh, chemical products and all that, the spirit is like, look for... So what I'm hearing is whatever is required, it's in your kitchen, it's in your fridge. And go for raw stuff that you get directly from Mother Earth. Especially when it comes to your beauty routine. So, I don't know, maybe I have some uh, sleeping witches in the house. Shh, guys, I, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of weird. And I'm not even, like, touching the card because I know it's going to take me down that tunnel. Okay. 
yeah guys look into herbs vegetables and if you're having skin issues and that can kind of like affect your confidence and all of that it's fair to say you just have to look the solution is close up you don't have to go look online for it you don't have to look for products it's there it's around it's in your kitchen it's something i don't know Let me know. Let me know. Maybe I can help you. Yeah. Whoa. Let me know in the comments, okay? If you're going through some issues. But the thing is, you're already coming into the solution. All right? You are. So it's happening. It's happening. Through your own research or through someone else, it, this problem is being solved. All right. Show me. Yeah. Whoa, what did I say? So this is like the king of swords, right? And it's being clarified by the whale. Now that's telling me... Your logical thinking comes from a very, very ancient place. And it's very rooted in compassion it's very rooted in empathy okay so it's not the typical king of swords energy where this person is just like you know mental so it's mental but it's a lot more than just that okay so it's not cutthroat it's i don't know it's a beautiful energy that you are embodying here okay yeah and your presence is kind of huge okay it's like you will be noticed your energy is very magnetic and you're very tapped in so there's this psychic element which is very active during this period and it's almost like you can you you come off as uh, this analytical person who's like very logic based and all of that but at the same time you're so very tuned in and you can see through people's shadows you can i don't know it's like you're very there's a level of discernment that you're coming into that you're reading people's energies okay and it's going to serve you very well too Yeah. Raccoon. You are in this sort of energy where because so many good things are happening for you, okay? You will be very generous during this period. And I'm hearing that's absolutely wonderful because I don't know, God wants you to function in that energy. And of course, there's a need for boundaries and all of that, which you very well know because King of Swords, right? So I don't want to get into that. But it's like, you have enough knowledge, enough wisdom, as well as resources that you are going to work your way up the ladder and you're going to take a lot of people to their success too you're going to kind of i don't know you're this magnet you know who's like meant to go places and many others are meant to go with you so you're very helpful you're very this energy is very very generous is the word okay big hearted so there are some people you want to see them win too and i feel like you're going to help them and which is wonderful show me Starfish, beautiful. Yeah, guys, you guys are like you know. Again, I'm I'm feeling this leadership energy, and yes, it, this period means that like you know, a lot of like it'll be busy. There's a lot of stuff to do. You know, hard working energy, and of course you you'll stand out. You will just absolutely stand out. 
that you're embodying this Aquarian energy, very Saturnian, but at the same time, very mercurial on the inside. So yeah, you, you have this daddy energy, but it's, it's like you have a heart of a kid and your energy is also very youthful. But like people have to just spend a minute with you to understand that, okay, that is no kid. <laughs> that person knows what they are talking about, all of that, you know. But yes, uh, there's this youthful uncertainty that kind of comes up. And I, I don't feel anything is wrong with it because like if you are young, so then there are a lot of things that are supposed to come with, with age, right, with time. And that youthful uncertainty is picked up by people who are mostly like older, like a bit way more older or something of that nature, right? And it is anyway going to work in your favor because those people can see where you are headed, okay? And they know you will handle life as it comes. Because your heart is very pure, I'm hearing. Heart is very pure. And you make the most out of whatever is given your way, okay? It's like you make the best of it. So you're very street smart, yeah, at the same time. I mean, whoa, let's clarify. Lion, fish, auto. I love this, <laughs> guys. I have the bear here. <laughs> it's reminding me of uh, Jeremy Allen White. <laughs> the show, you know. I started watching it and I could only see like first few episodes because those chaotic scenes, you know, where they're like talking over each other and yelling and oh, oh, oh my God, it was just... I was, it was making me mad because I was like, why is the bear not kind of like, I don't know, I don't know who's the bear, but like the, that guy, you know, Jeremy, why is he not reacting? Why is he not hitting somebody or like, you know, just yelling? You know, he's just like taking all of that. He's just letting things be. And I don't know, it was making me see red. <laughs> I was it was just chaotic. I couldn't deal with it. I wish to continue, but like, let's see if I'm going to watch it or not. <laughs> so yeah, lion energy, right? I love to see this here. So I'm hearing <laughs> lion's gate again is very, very important. All right. There's a bit of like uh, this energy where like, see this money that is promised is coming. Okay, it's coming your way. There's a, there's something about how you handle that energy. All right. So be very mindful. Do not get into this fickle mindedness. Do not like become short sighted. Do not do all of that. Okay. Look at the bigger picture. Look at where you're going. Don't let the emotions get the best of you, okay? Tap into this King of Swords energy that you are embodying. Don't. So this is a bit in the future, right? It is closer to the Lion's Gate. So that makes sense why the Lion is showing up here, okay? And that again tells me that you are in a very, very strong energy, very beautiful energy. And, you know, whatever the problem was, that was taking you out of your confidence a little bit over here in, around this period totally it's totally getting away from you because this lion is so focused on the future you see all these energies all they're all looking towards the future but the fish is a bit on the past the fish is looking at the whale okay and the veil is looking at the twin card. Okay, so it makes sense. It makes sense. 
there's there are certain things we cannot put down from the past, right? When our emotions are involved, and especially when you're this is something divine counterpart and stuff. So yeah. But it the way I'm seeing it, right? Um, it's not going to take you out of your energy, but it's more like you know. Uh, Spirit is just not nudging you to embody the present energy more. I don't know. It's like stay in the present. N your power lies in the present. It doesn't lie in the past. It doesn't lie in the future. And it's time to embody the power to speak your authentic language, okay? Which is whoa cats man which is all about there's a level of truth you know you need to be in this truthful energy you need to speak your truth you need to be loyal to your own being and there's a bit about not being loyal to the things that try to take you out it's a bit of that, okay? Yeah, disengage. And what I'm seeing here is because I have the moon here, right? So you're anyway, this is you're intuitive, yes. But something is coming to light. There's something happening here. I don't know, it could be connected to the full moon or maybe a week later after that. I don't know, let's see. But what is the overall energy? It is chariot with the otter. This is like the most joyful card, most happiest. And this also kind of gives me this full moon energy, right? Future looks bright, guys. Future looks bright, very bright, all right? And yes, it's a win. You're coming to some sort of win that is going to make your life so much easier. And you are headed towards your ultimate success, abundance, all of that, you know. Joy, ultimate joy. So you're doing something that makes you happy, guys. And if you're doing that right, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So that's all I have for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. If this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.